Hello Internet, Dave here, and welcome to part 21 of my Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play for the Nintendo 3DS. We continue where things off last time, heading along Route 10. Before we continue our adventure, it is Roto Lotto time! And I get two Roto Lotto bargains for, well, shops. Let's continue. <clears throat> the no leveling up or anything from last time. So I'm literally the same level, I have the same Pokemon from when we last left off. Ah, this guy has an artillery. And I'm starting with Rift Draft. That's a very bad idea. So I need to switch to my Magneton, which we evolved last episode. <coughs> We're going to let you ball that artillery. I'm gonna do that again. Bye bye, artillery. Level up. Two level ups. And finally, Tall Cat is evolving. There we are, Incinerator! Also known as Ric Flair. That has been added to the Pokedex. And Pokedex entry states a third is rough, naked, and eccentrical. It finds beating down unworthy opponents boring. It gets motivated for stronger opponents. Woohoo! So the Dark Wrestler is actually motivated by those stronger than itself. And of course he wants to learn Darkest Lariat, which I will indeed have. And I'm going to get rid of a Bite for Darkest Lariat. Voila! Alright, I am going to need to heal that Magneton. So I do so with a Super Potion. And a Normal Potion. I was thinking about switching over Pokemon at that point. But now nah, I'll keep uh, Incineroar a bit flat to front. I replaced my super potion. Nice. Ooh, berries. Yeah, there's a Pokemon feeding on the berries. <clears throat> to guess what that one is. That's right. A Crabola. Look at the incinerator. What a lovely, lovely Pokemon. Fire Fang. Some nice berries. Suppose I should really have my um, Lavatar up front. I 
Who are you? Oh, she's a healer. Nice. Did not know that. Uh, Max Vibe, nice. There's something there, no. Mm, train up. Let's see what you've got. Well, good choice I have my uh, lava tub, but... <clears throat> oh, confused Ray. And then we get hurts itself in its own confusion. Oh, caught it, caught it, caught it. Let's try it again. Yay, rock slide. Well, that did about what, just a quarter, I'd say? Go vote for the confusion again. And yeah, three hit KO on the sound fee. There we go. Bye bye, Fancy. Yay, that was our level up. And no, but is as well. Razor Wind. What does that do again? Two turn attack. Blades of Wind. Hit opponents. Second turn. Okay. Um, no, nah, leave it for now. Let's go and heal up. <coughs> oh, yes. <coughs> Ah, Skarmory. Interesting. We'll get Lava to have a turn. Then we'll send out Rick Flair. And we'll go Fire Fang. Steady, steady. But how many times do you think it's hit? Oh, two. And we'll go with these. Scratch, I believe. Those trees up to level 27. Yeah, I'll take the heal, please. Look, Team Skull. What are they doing? <clears throat> what, you never never seen anyone take a bus stop to go before? 
Hey yo, you're trying to steal our bus stop. Best go you find your own, you heard? <coughs> okay. Team's going out trying to steal bus stop signs. Ah, yeah, hound off. Dark fire type. Employee, choice. It's a level 29. As it is a fire type, my rock side should be good against it. Oh yeah, one hit KO. Even though it is stronger. Hey, yo, when I fight, I'm not supposed to lose. Dang, I lost. They're in my home, gotta fight ya. That's just life in Team Skull. We stand up, even to the strong, yo. We stand up, but not for long, yo. Okay. <clears throat> interesting. Random, bit interesting. So what have you got, Mr. Grunt? You have a gold rat. Which is flying poison. Should also not like rock slide. Of course, confuse Ray. I'm gonna say hits myself in the confusion. Have a look. No, no, broke through. What a surprise. Generally. That did about half health. Hmm. Question is, will it break through the confusion again? Nope, didn't think so. Uh, I'm not going to risk it for a biscuit. So we're going to get Magneton out. And of course we're going to go with the Electro Ball, which will take down the Girl Bat if I break through the confusion. Yes, I do. Lovely, jubbly. <clears throat> level toss, level twenty-eight. Thrash. And I'll get rid of Screech. I know it makes me confused, but I don't know if you care, but that bus stop weighs about as much as a golem. <clears throat> okay, so pretty heavy. Yeah, the thing about the bus drivers, if you take this bus stop, they can all chill. Oh, I'm over this. Back to living large at the m mansion? Dave. <clears throat> What's going on? Some Team Skull Punks just ran past me going in the other direction, yeah? I sure wish they challenged the League instead of getting up to no good all the time. The League? Ho ho ho, you'll find out soon enough. Just wait, cousin. But first things first. If you want to head up Mount Honkai, eh? we should take the bus. It blasts us up there to the top, yeah, as quick as a sky uppercut. <clears throat> Check for the bus up to see the next one that's coming. There's a bus stop here. 
Do you want to wait and catch a bus to the observatory? Yes. Welcome aboard the Executor Express. Our safe driving record will absolutely stay you. Come on, come on, climb in. <coughs> Over here. Mount Haku is the second tallest mountain in Alola, and the tallest Check it out Dave See that steep jagging mystic peak right over there That's Mount Lankaya, the highest peak in Alola It's a sacred spot, yeah. The closer you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola, said to be in this, said to be the Sun Incarnate. That's right, right there on the peak of Lagaya is where I establish our Pokemon League. We got everyone who finished the island challenges, yeah, and put them up there on the peak of Mount Lagaya. They battled against the Kahunas to become. The Island Challenge Champion. I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time that we get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Island Challenge Champion to the World Champion. And then we will have our own champion and they can show the rest of the world what's so Special about Alolan Pokemon and their trainers, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I've got a Votu Lotto as well after after that bit. When it lets me do it. And this one I have. Roto Encounters. A high level wild Pokemon. Okay. But first, let us heal. Now be jubbly. Anything interesting at all up here? Counter name Bill. Hey! Mr. Molani? Okay. Okay, so it's sending messages. Who to and why? Hey there. You still fired up as ever, Royal. Ha, Dave. Let me introduce you. This is Monel. Oh, okay. He runs the observatory here and also manages PC boxes, but he's not Hakura's captain. <clears throat> but I was the captain once, my masked friend. It's Dave, right? Thanks for coming all the way up to Hawaii to visit us. Our captain, Solocrates, is rather a busy young man, I'm afraid. 
always calculating comets paths, updating the festival plaza thing of his. If you want to be introduced to the Mass Royale though, well that's something I could definitely help you with right here and now. Yeah, I think he's even stronger than we were at this point of our island challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kukri. Who's this Mask Royale you're talking about? It, it, it's you. It, it, it's you. Come on, let's be perfectly honest. <clears throat> Just, just think about the favour I asked you, yeah? Mura, I want you to seriously consider it. I guess I should head back to my garden. Even how should we done eating masalas by now, yeah? Make sure it makes it up here too. That guy's as interesting as ever, my old buddy. Here's something to remember our meeting by, Dave. Oh, the steel oism Z. Behold. Cutting sharpness and yielding power. Yes, this move has them both. And it's what you need to draw forth the steel type Z power. I gathered the Z crystals when I was on my own island challenge back in my own day. Adventuring with Kukri and my Pokemon in search of strength. You should go ahead and use it now. Go on inside and tour our observatory as you like. And if you're ready for the real trial, Captain Socrates can be found in the head office. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do <coughs> is I'm going to attach the Rockolium Z to Lavatar so he can now use his Z power. Hokuro Observatory can view distant planets and galaxies with the help of Pokemon like Toporaku and Chargebug, of course. I guess it's time to feed you guys. This is different. Take this to commemorate your visit to the observatory and keep a bit of space with you. Comet Shard? It's a fragment that fell to Earth when a comet passed by our planet. You can feel the vastness of space. Ooh, what a sense of adventure. It's also... A totem sticker! <clears throat> Different ways such as interfered rays and radio waves detect celestial bodies. Modern astronomical telescopes are basically like amazingly good digital cameras, you know. You don't really look through them at space so much as we have them take photos of space so that we can see what's happening up there. Uh, I'm blanking out. Hey, what's the magnitude of a star that's ten times brighter than the fifth magnitude star? I don't know! Whoa, who are you? Sorry, sorry, I thought you were my fellow scientist. I like that is such a difficult question. Take this as my apology. Well, this place is, um... Another Magnemite. Ooh, stick up. Professor Oak wants to talk to me. Oh, hello there. I'm... Samson Oak. I called. You see, you collect some total stickers. You should come and stop by Hello Beach. Yay, I got enough stickers for the next totem Pokemon. Uh -huh. All my land circles are sick as thieves. We're up all day and night playing games together and whatever else they do. It's amazing that they still manage to get their work done, but it's not easy on the rest of us. Okay, look by the security system. Let's get this electric trial done. I hope. <laughs> You're getting close to your goal. 
I imagine you must come here to attempt the trial, huh? So, um, where are the charger bugs? Is it dinner time? Oh right, they're eating. The charger bugs are real gluttons, you know. The charger bug helped me out with my trial, so can you get them all for me? I have to get everything else ready while you do that. I'm going to have to get Tokugawa's help too. This will be my first time testing it. So, it will be a huge help if you recall all the charger bug for me. Cool. Fine. Let's get the totem sticker. I need to have the falcon spurs. Where did they go? Ah, outside. <clears throat> <clears throat> there you are, the charge bug all fed up and happy. Hmm, let's see. I'm only counting six, they're not all here. I'm sorry Dave, but do you think you could go find the remaining charger bug? We're only missing three, they should still be eating in the empty slot locked by the bus station. Bus stop. Found it. Round two. Hmm. How's it going, Dave? Did you find all the charge bug? Well, it seems like seven jab bug is missing. It's always runs us off into strange places. Oh, we. Call the nine judge bug by the nicknames. One judge bug is all the way up to nine judge bug. Really? Really? I'm, I'm having a I'm having a kind of fit. Right, so where would it be? Ah, I think I see something. Yeah, found something. Ah, oh, seven bug. There you are. Thanks for the help finding it, Dave. Now I should get back to Swapus. No doubt he's craning his net like a executor waiting for us. You gathered those charge bug quickly. I knew there was something special about you. So, over there, there's the room we have for trial. Switching off the security system. And that is where we're going to wrap things up for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed. We'll do next episode soon, which will be the trial of electricity. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, leave your Pokemon nicknames. Until next time, this is Dave. Knowledge is power and catching Pokemon, training them and making sure they're not dirty.